afternoon. Welcome to live Facebook mini class. This is my 16th live Facebook since Thursday. Oh, I can hear myself. Hang on. There we go. No, wrong button. No, it's still wrong button. There we go. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the last live mini class for the weekend. Uh, welcome to those of you just catching me for the first time. My name is Natalie May and I am here to do a little creating this afternoon using, um, I don't know, I've just got some stuff out. I haven't really got too much of a plan, so I'm just winging it as normal. Uh, this is... This is a live Facebook because it is our Black Friday big brand sale weekend and it is part of the Integrated Craft Live uh, online event, uh, International Craft Show, and I can't wait to hang out with you guys um, this afternoon. And Louise has gone from the for the day. She's knocked off and heading out for the evening. And I, uh, I'm looking forward to chatting with her tomorrow. So she has been a trooper and helped out all weekend, as per normal. Sacrificed her weekend for us. Um, so let me quickly tell you what is going on here. We have got um lots and lots happening all of the live facebook's that i have done over the last four days you can catch on youtube if you type in natalie may scrapbooking or natalie may scrapbook ideas you'll find me pretty simple um you can follow me on instagram uh not that i've actually updated anything in the last 24 hours uh i may do that tonight uh and of course nataliemay.com.au is where you need to go to take advantage of Dilutions, 20% off for today only, as well as Paper Rose products and Uniquely Creative products are also 20% off for today only. Uh, so they are available for you to make the most of. Now, I did a live Facebook earlier this afternoon using the Dilutions Shimmer Paints incredible make sure you have a bit of a look at that video on youtube or back through facebook you can also grab natalie may products at 25 percent off which is unheard of and you will not catch that sort of discount again for a while so please enjoy that so my thinking here is i want to do an art journal page because that involves the least amount of brain work for me today uh, Sunday, of course, and Sunday is my, uh, you know, nice something, always something nice and easy that we don't have to concentrate too much on. And this here is my Brenda collage paper. Now, this is one of the collage paper designs that is not on special this weekend. And as you can see, I'm just using a wet paintbrush to tear this paper. So like I've done previously, softening the fibers enables us to tear the paper. Now what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna tear a fair amount of this off because I'm having an idea. Having an idea just creating a bit of a line. And as you can see how easy that is just to tear instead of trying to cut, like seriously, seriously easy. There we go. Now I am working in my Dina Wakeley craft journal today. This is my craft journal that I've been working on throughout the year. Uh, how cute is that little guy? Uh, and you will find lots and lots of uh, these pages in classes that I have taught as well as little mini tutorials and live Facebooks. So this is what I'm doing here. Now what I have decided to do, because these craft pages can be quite thirsty, I have used clear gesso, 
uh, to completely seal that paper. So I thought I would do that. Now I'm going to pop her down here. In fact, I might actually take her in a little closer today. Something I haven't done before. I'm going to I'm going to take it in just a little closer. And tear much much closer to her face. I'm going to give her some long wispy hair today. That's what I'm thinking and some hair that I might pop a quote in. I'm just having this idea as we speak and something I wouldn't normally do but I'm actually going to scissor cut. Which I'm regretting instantly because you know that's what we do okay now we're working on a craft background here but if I put that down onto craft she'll end up with quite a brown face which is perfectly fine but I'm wanting her to have more of a white base to her so I'm just going to grab some white gesso and just under the area where her face is going to go which is going to be about here I think I'm going to get some gesso on just to lay a bit of a base. So this is the Dina Wakeley gesso. There we go. Just smooth that out a bit. So, you know, I don't need to overdo it. Just a little area there. And lid on. So I hope you've all been having a nice happy Sunday with your friends and family or doing a little bit of crafting perhaps. Um, for those of you who have been crafting this afternoon and you've created some fun projects, don't forget that you can enter the competition in the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community, our little private group, and you can go in the chance to win a $25 gift voucher just by sharing your favorite project that you have created. And as I've mentioned earlier, you, it doesn't have to be a, it doesn't have to be something crafty in like in scrapbooky or paper craft. You can, perfect, you can, Enter anything that you have at all, anything at all that you've that you've created. It's all about sharing that bit of love around. Okay, so I'm just using gel medium here to stick all of that down, and I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to go over the top. Um, ideally, I would have used a thicker paintbrush normally, but for some reason I seem to have chosen the smallest possible paintbrush to do this. But let's commit to it. And now I'm just going to make sure I go around and stick all my edges down. Um, there we go. And go over the top to seal, completely seal my collage paper. Because paper is, of course, porous and I am going to use paint, but I'm going to add some colour to her face after. So I'm wanting to make sure that I completely and totally seal this paper. And now I'm just going to lightly polish it with my fingers. So the tech that well the, the design of the page here is something that is not at all new and like I have said numerous times today, it's Sunday, so let's not reinvent the wheel. Let's just make it happen and make something pretty that works. So what I'm doing with the with my finger here is just smoothing out any bubbles underneath and all also just sealing that paper completely, making sure that it's completely stuck down. So a little bit of white underneath, because if I didn't put it underneath, it would be a little bit transparent, uh, and which is, which is perfectly fine, but I'm wanting her to have a, a white base.
Okay, what I'm thinking is I'm going to grab a lead pencil and I'm going to just draw something that might be resembling her hair. I'm going to give her a big colour hair area and it's going to go kind of up like that. Um, I didn't need to do a pencil mark, but I chose to do a pencil. Um, I need a tear off palette. So I've chatted earlier about the importance of a tear off palette. This is the Montmartre tear off palette. Um, they're fantastic because once you once you finish with your paint, you can just screw that up and put it in the bin. Um, makes for traveling fantastic if you have to go off to a crop. If you don't have a lot of room on your desk and you want to pick up and move things around, then that is the way to go. Um, I'm using some Dina Wakely paints here. So that color was turquoise. This color is called peacock. This colour is called Ocean. And you can see that I am, I'm dumbing it down, keeping it simple, not overthinking it, but I'm just choosing colours that are working alongside each other and that are going to look great together. This colour is called Marine. And I'm going to finish with Night, if I can find it. Sorry for leaning across camera there but I think it is here. Here it is. Now, I do love this beautiful range of colours that Dina Wakely has. Dilusions also have an excellent range of colours and, of course, they are the paints that are currently on special at 20% off. I've got too many things on my desk. Right, that'll do. I'm making more table space here. So I am going to add some colour here. I'm using this massive, big Dina Wakely Media brush. This only came in a couple of weeks ago, and I'm pretty much in love with it. Uh, and I'm going to start with my lightest colour. As you can see, I've put them in order here of the in the range that I want to use. So I am just going to get it on there like that and I'm going to take it up to right up to her head and I can touch it up after but I'm just looking at getting that color on to start with and that pencil mark was just a loose guide and I'm going to use a thinner paintbrush. So this one is the Art by Marlene brush and I'm going to come in here and just take it and I'll blend that up again a bit later but that'll do for now. Now I'm going to use the next colour and overlap. This paintbrush is amazing. Now, I haven't actually, I'm not going to wet my brush. I'm just going to use some paper towel. For some reason, I've got the biggest roll of paper towel here possible from Costco. So I'm just having to pull off sheets. Um, and take off the excess paint, then blend that out so you can see what's happening there. I will go back over the top. Then I'm going to go in with this next colour, which is just a, a fraction darker. I haven't really worked out what I'm going to do in here yet, but we'll cross that hurdle when we get to it. Should be right. And then rather than wetting my brush, because these are really thirsty paint brushes, I'm just taking off that excess paint onto the paper towel. And I'm going to go in with this next colour, which was for this beautiful, rich marine. Oh, look at that. Oh, 
And then if I take the excess paint off, I can then just soften that line there and make it a little bit more blendy, blendy. <sighs> so I hope you've all enjoyed spending the weekend with me. Um, I know I've had a ball. I don't often get the opportunity to just create like this. And I'm creating, genuinely creating here without a plan. Okay, so I, I knew that I wanted to use Brenda and I knew that I wanted to do something with her hair, but that's as far as I have planned, for example, for this project. And that's okay. Oh, and I did write down a quote this time. I did prepare myself because I've made you guys all think of quotes for me. So I did come up with my own quote this time that I'm going to write. I've come up with a big long one that I'm going to put in the title. Um, I'm just going back now with that other colour and I'm just going to work on getting a little blend going on in here. Now, where I am sitting, I've got a bit of reflection going on, but I'm just going to wing it. Should be right. In fact, I probably don't need to blend it much more. It's looking pretty great. I'm actually pretty happy with it. I am going to add some more depth with that teal, that turquoise. Except for I've lost the paint. And I do love that the Dina Wakeley and the Dilusions paints aren't going to run off my palette if I pick it up and, and move it around. So if I can pick that up and tilt it, it doesn't run off. It's a lovely heavy bodied acrylic. And both the Dina Wakeley and the Dilusions paints are like that, with, of course, the uh, Dina Wakeley one being slightly heavier bodied than the other one, than the Dilusions. Right. And knowing when to stop, Natalie, put the brush in water. Now I can't touch it. Okay, now I want to add some, I need to think about how I'm going to blend her hair into that paintbrush, into that paintbrush, into that, into that collage paper. And I haven't, I don't know, look, just, I'm going to grab a paintbrush and I'm just going to take it like this. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to not think about it. And I'm just going to do it. So it's the time of the night here where the council depot across the road, they're all knocking off work. So they're all driving past my window, looking at me filming, thinking I am absolutely crazy with a ring light sitting over my workstation. I should be waving to the boys, but they start beeping their horns and carrying on and it's like guys just keep driving have you not seen a woman talking to herself in a camera before i don't know what your problem is guys there we go see what i'm doing just take a little and because we are working with acrylic paint we can layer over the top of of this collage paper. And I'm going to be adding some black pen as well. Um, and I'm gonna round that off somehow. Right. Clean that brush and stop because I'm really happy with how this blend has come out. It's working quite well. So again, knowing when to stop is important. Uh, what else am I going to do? What else am I going to do? I want to add a little bit of stenciling, but I might give her a bit of a body first. Uh, so this brush that I just had, I'm going to add some more paint over the top of that. And I'm thinking, and I'm thinking I'm going to go with a combination of Balmy Night, which is a lovely Dilusions company, 
<laughs> Naomi's just commented, nothing like uh, knowing someone's watching when you're talking to yourself. As much as I love, and I really do love doing these live Facebooks, it's there, there is an art to sitting here and talking to yourself, um, which is exactly what I'm doing. But I'm not talking to myself because I'm talking to you and you know that. I've got some black. I'm going to be... I'm going to get some black. So what I might do is I'm just going to give her a bit of, give her some boob, follow that line down. And I'm going to go in first of all with that Balmy Night, which is a really lovely grey. And I've got some black and I've got some plain night that I'm just going to work into to make a bit of a new colour so this doesn't stand out too much trying to make it look like it's part of part of the image oh this paintbrush is beautiful did you see how nice that went on follow that line oh oh i just gave her some big boobs Boobs are good. And I might add some script sort of stamping over here in a moment as well. I don't quite know what's going on with this bit here. I do without it, to be honest. It hasn't dried completely, so I can be a bit RC, maybe. There we go, we'll fix that up later. Okay, it's coming together. I'm just working on doing this bit. And like I said, I will do some stamping over the top of it. Right, let's get some, let's get something else going on here. I'm thinking a little bit of stenciling. I have got this guy. I have got this guy. And maybe I'm not too sure what colour to do them in. Let me have a little let me have a little bit of a think. Shall I add in another colour or shall I stick with something completely Ask the audience, hey, what do we say? Um, a little mineral. So mineral is not white. Mineral in the Dina Wakeley paint has fast become one of my favourites to use. It's kind of like a blue-grey. So I'm thinking I want to add a bit of that, but I'm going to mix it with a bit of this. And I haven't got any clean blending sponges, so I'm just going to use a latex wedge. There we go. Mixing colours to make it work. Oh, look at me overthinking this. Just do it, Natalie. So this is the Natalie May Scrapbooking Hexed Stencil. Now I've put that on and I'm thinking I'm gonna grab a baby wipe because I pre-gessoed my background. I can tone it back a bit as well. So that what happens is I get a really, really light, lovely, wash of colour. So yes, you can clear gesso. So this hexed stencil is one that I've spent hours and hours and hours designing. 
um, doing all of these little hexagons on a computer program to turn into a stencil was not the easiest thing in the world, just between you and me. Um, so that gives you a bit of an idea on how much the fact that I do actually design everything uh, myself. And this is just a really, really light, now dirty sponge of colour. And that is what I was going for there. Excuse me, I'm trying to avoid a sneeze here now. Standard Natalie. Uh, right. I'm just going to leave the background. And I'm, I was going to add my alpha stencil. Um, but I'm thinking that... I want to go a little bit similar to this craft. So I pulled out a Dilutions colour and I don't know if it's going to work. So let's work through it together. This colour is called Desert Sand. Now it is brown. It is a light brown and it might well work. Now I'm just going to be a bit sneaky here and I'm going to cut that off. And all of a sudden, look at that, fancy me. I've got a clean sponge. Oh, and some freeloading. Okay. I'm going to test on my inside back cover first. Let's see if this works. Is that my inside back cover? Yes. Uh, and if I like it, and I'll do the word create. It has worked. Ooh. Okay, that, my friend, is superb. All right. So that colour is Desert Sand by Dilutions. And Desert Sand by Dilutions is very similar to Craft. So if anyone has noticed, this, this, stamp, this stencil here that I designed has got words in it. So we have got colour, we have inspire, we have create, and, and I think that's it. So I am using inspire up the top here. I want to make sure that that word is in, and I like to make sure that it is also straight. And I'm not aiming for just that word, I'm also aiming for the letters around it. So it becomes like a bit of a shadow effect. That's what I was really going for with this light colour. Let me bring it up to camera. Actually, I'll do it in a moment. I'll bring it up to camera so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Create. I'm going to put one down here. And I need to make sure that it's straight. Sorry, I realise that's off camera. There we go. So now it's become this gorgeous shadow. And I'm overlapping onto the stenciling that I have already done to help tie it all together. There's method to my madness. And then I want to have a little bit up here. Dun, dun, dun. Can you see that? Is it showing up on camera? Oh, it is. Okay. Oops. 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 All right. So that is exactly what I was after. And I'm just going to just a little across the top there. And I feel the need to put a little bit down there. And I also feel the need to pop a bit there. And I can wipe that off there and I'm happy with that. OK, 
Okay. Are we? Can you see what I'm? Where I'm heading here? Can you see what's going on? Right. Now what? Now what? Now I'm going to grab out some of my little pencil stash here. I have got a couple of Stabilo pencils and I have got a couple of Posca pens, a couple of Life of Colour brush pens. And where is my other Life of Colour pen? And I always test before I start. Let me just grab another an off cut of something here. That's pretty good. What's this one? Way too thick, but could still work, um, but it's not going to. So what I want to do is I want to now add some lines of hair. I also am thinking of doing some white first and then some black over the top. So the white is going to be thinner. So I've just made sure that it's working. So this is my oh, Life of Colour pen. Now I know that I've just got to commit to it. Oh, Natalie. Just commit to it. Just commit to it. Just commit to it. Just commit to a teal. It's a great colour. I'm going to go over the top of this with a black pen. Okay, so, but before I do that, I'm just going to touch dry it with some paper towel. Perfect. And then go over some of those lines with my black light of colour. And then they become kind of like a, a grey line. Now, I'm also a fan of a scribble. You know how much I love me a good scribble. So my scribble is going to come with a different felt tip pen because I am a pen connoisseur. But any drawing pen will work. And I'm just going to doodle script, doodle line. Okay, there we go, it's happening. Now, I've talked about my black pens before and how, actually, last night after work, Lou came, we, we came and she came over home after work and consumed a couple of quiet beverages, a little cheese, a little dip and some bickies and maybe a gin or two. And we were discussing how I, that where we want to travel in the world, right? And I want to go to Tokyo so I can just go to the stationery stores. Is that all right? Just so I can buy pens. Just because I love pens. Just, just because I love a pen for no other reason. I do love a black pen. All right, so what I have now is my Stabilo pencil. And I'm softening this pen, sorry, this hairline little catastrophe I've got going on here. And I'm giving her some Farrah Fawcett flicky fringies. And I'm going to grab a, what do you call that, a paintbrush. Where's my, yeah, that'll do. Slightly thinner paintbrush. I'm just going to activate that just a fraction. Maybe. If not, I can just dab it off if I don't like it. Oh, yeah, no, that works. So if it's too dark. So a Stabilo pencil, for those of you playing along at home, if you don't have a Stabilo pencil, a Stabilo pencil is something that you definitely need if you are a crafter. 
It is a water soluble black pencil that is going to change your life. It's that simple. It is very, very easy to use um, and it has an excellent permanency to it as well. Now, I feel that I need to colour this because I should have cut it out because I can see now exactly what it is. And that is a little bit of her, a bit of the collage paper. So because that brown paint was very much, look at that, look at the difference that made. Oh, I'm a genius. Okay, so clearly this colour is perfect for fixing mistakes with, oh, and stop, stop, Natalie, and dry it. Isn't that better? Now she's got a neck, not three chins like me. Nothing wrong with three chins. I'm happy and well fed. Okay. The I'm going to add some black spots because I think black spots are important. But maybe I'll do some words. Where's my phrase that I decided on? Okay. Might do some splatters first, actually. I think splatters might be the way to go. Um, I walked away and then had a bit of a think and went, no, it definitely needs splatters. Uh, so to get some splatters on here, I need to make something to splatter. So I've got this little wash here of black paint. It's going to add a little bit more to it. And then I'm going to add some water to it. But before I do that, I want to cover up the bits that I don't want any splatter. And that is important because splattering is a superpower that I certainly appreciate that not everybody has. Um, so this is the way to ensure that you don't end up with splatter absolutely everywhere. Mask off the area that you want to save. It's just paper towel, okay, we are going to, I'm going to, I know I'm not going to splatter up there, but just the same, I'm going to layer and layer my paper towel everywhere, okay, this is the easiest way to ensure that you don't have any mistakes. Any bits that you can't take back. Right, this bit here is my black. If I turn that around that way. I've got a thin paintbrush and I'm just going to add some water to make it more fluid. And acrylic paint does work best for this because we're already working with acrylic paint. So now I have the right consistency. I'm going to lightly splatter. And it's a tap, I'm just tapping the brush, okay? Nothing more than that because you don't wanna flick because flicking's going to make a funny pattern. And again, knowing when to stop is important. And I'm going to very carefully lift these up. So we've talked over the weekend when I've done all my live Facebooks that black and white give dimension. So I have just added black. Now I could have used a dot stamp if I had one handy or a, a black pen to do that. But that is what works for me. Okay, I love me a splatter and I also love a white splatter as well, but I'm not going to add that just yet. So I need to dry that so I don't inadvertently drag my wrist through it, which wouldn't be the first time.
And then I'm going to very boldly do something that I haven't done in a really long time and do some wording up through her hair. Which freaks me out a little bit, but I'm just going to commit to it and give it a go. Before I do that, um, I might give her face a little colour. What I have here is a, from my personal set of pencils, I have got a, uh, it's just a Faber-Castell pencil. Um, and actually I've changed my mind, I'm not going to use it. Let's go back to that skin tone that we have worked with all weekend, which is using my Natalie May scrapbooking watercolors, okay? Uh, because I know that that's going to work, and I haven't because I haven't used the pencil in such a long time. So, I'm wetting my paints, and I'm going to grab a thicker paintbrush and make up a a wash here of white. Now, I am doing a Caucasian skin tone. I'm going to go in with an orange and I'm then going to add a freckle of pink and then I always take it that little bit too far because, you know, that's what we do. I'm just going to zoom up. Sorry, guys. And then I'll take my... There we go. Um, so I always take it too far. It's just like the story of my life. So then I've got to go in and add more white. And again in more orange. And then I've completely messed it up again. And that will do. Okay, are you ready? Let's do this. So working off to the side here is always, always recommended. So then you can work with, you can see what you've got to work with. Um, you can see how it's going to, to look on the page. So what I've got in my hand is a scrap of paper towel. Just lining it up on camera a little bit better. There we go. And I'm just going to start in here. And that works. And I just want it as a tinge. I'm just going to move that around. Now, because I sealed this with gel medium, I sealed my collage paper with gel medium, it is going to sit on top, but I do need to work carefully and confidently. Again, there's that word that Natalie just keeps using, confidently. Taking any excess off. Now, the lovely Linda and the lovely Naomi are linking in the comments the items that I am using. So if there is something that you would like to purchase for your personal stash, then the girls are linking that there for you. I'm just grabbing a fraction of red. Oh, way too much. And I nearly swore quite well then. So I'm very quickly and very confidently grabbing it. And let's pop a little on that side. You can always build the colour up, but it's a lot harder to take it off. Okay, so just always remember that little tip. It's always easier to build it up than take it off. So I can control what's on my paintbrush. I took too much off. Took way too much off. And now put too much on. But you get the gist. You get the idea. And I've just about given her a black eye. 
She's got eyes like me today, red and tired. Um, and I'm going to give her a blue eye. Just a little touch of blue. That's all. And just a kiss of colour on her lips. Well, that's not the right colour. That's ridiculous. That'll work. And you can see what's going on with my piece of paper towel here. It's soaking up the big drip of red. But that colour works. And stop. So that's just using this little watercolour palette um, and I will bring it up to camera. I feel the need to fiddle. Hang on a minute. I just have to get the pink out of her, get her blush out of her ears. That's better. Lid on, put it away. Okay. Can we see that colour? Is that showing up? Yeah, it is. Just a, a fraction of colour. Just a freckle. I'm going to zoom back out now. da -da. How clever. Look at that. By live number 16, I'm nailing that zoom in and out thing with my phone like a boss. Okay. Time for me to commit to some writing. Um, before I do that, I'm going to just give myself a little bit of a pep talk here because I know that I can do it and I will just get it on there. I'm just gonna give, give it a little frame. I don't know why I'm procrastinating about this today. I never do this, I usually just smash it out. Maybe it's because it's the last one of the day and I think I just need to I'm tired, I'm tired girls. But I tell you what, I can't wait to gift wrap all your orders tomorrow. Cannot wait, totally looking forward to it. Right, oh, did I have a little water spill here somewhere? I did, okay, let's go with my title. Um, I've got a white pen here. And I have to do it in white because I've got this darkness down here. I have got a baby wipe handy. So if I do make a mistake, I can commit to it. I've got a couple of different pens. Let's test, do a little test first and see what's going to work best. Uh, let me just grab a piece of card to write on. Just chat amongst yourselves for just a second. Because I want to grab a something dark to practice on because to test my pen width. I've got three, I've got four white pens here. I've got three Life of Colour and one Pilot Pintor. So I want to do, I need to make sure that A, that they are all working. and work out which one I want to use. So that's my thin one. Oh, I like that one. Uh, this is my brush tip pen. And that's not going to be my option. That has many other uses. And then this is my eight millimeter Pintor. Which is lovely and bold. But a bit messy. So I think that that one is my goal. So it takes nothing to grab a scrap piece of paper and give it a go. 
So I'm going to put all the others away and only have this one in front of me. And I'm going to just, I can't talk while I do this, girls, so I have to apologise. Um... Okay, I feel the need to go over it a second time to give it some thickness, so I will do that, but I'm going to make sure that it is 150% dry first, so that I don't smudge. You did notice I had a piece of paper towel sitting here to lean my hand on, and that is just so that I didn't mess it up. Did I spell anything wrong? Isn't that a great phrase? It's bloody wonderful. I need that on the stamp. All right, so I'm going to just go over it again and then I'm going to call her done. Oh, that's still hot. Still hot. So when I go over it a second time, I don't need to concentrate nearly as much. And I'm just thickening up. Random people walking past my window, stopping and having a look while I'm talking to myself. Love that. So when I do my lettering, I like to go back and thicken it to give it a little bit more character, give it a little bit more depth. Naomi, um, no, there's no new Nat May stamps coming up at the moment. I don't appear to have enough hours in the day to reconcile my bookwork. So um, I would love to say yes, but not this year, babe. But it's, it'll happen in the new year. We're going to make it happen. I have a plan. I love to mix up uppercase and lowercase. I think that that's really, it makes my page more personal. It makes it more creative. I, the grammar Nazis hate it. Oh, sorry, that's probably not good terminology to be using on Facebook. The grammar police hate it and that's okay but this is something that works again for me and you have to take a second to make sure that when you go over this um, seam over the spine that it works really well you do it nice and smooth and slowly and carefully
Oops. That's, it's looking much better now that it's bolder. But it's nothing more than taking a second and choosing the right pen for the job. Okay, that's why I raced out of the room, got that second scrap of cardstock to make sure that the right white pen, the right, the correct white paint marker was going to be the one. And this Life of Colour one is definitely the winner. So this is the medium, comes in a box with three, sorry, six black and six white. And I love that variety. I'm just going to add a few white dots in the mix. And as you can see, I'm putting the dots in where the black splatters are. And that is so that they don't stand out too much, except for there where I just went off on a tangent. The only other thing that I was going to do for this page is put some script over the top here. But I've changed my mind and I'm not going to do it. Um, I think that I'm just going to leave it as it is. Uh, and but I have just had this very awesome idea to add some add a white frame oh and I love her I love Brenda she's um she's described my Sunday beautifully I'm super happy with that page It's so quiet, you can hear the pen writing. Really? I'm sure that was my head that you could hear concentrating. Oh, didn't need to do that, messed it up. Need to commit. Are you feeling better, Naomi? I hope so. All right, I'm going to bring her up to camera in a moment and you can have a bit of a look. Yes, 100% better. Good girl. Naomi had a rough night. I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. Happy days. Knowing when to stop is important. Let's take my sheets out of the background. And let's have a look at our pages. I'm going to take it off of here again because it worked really well. Sorry, girls, if you get seasick. Oh, I can't get it off now. I don't want to accidentally. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, so we've got that really lovely background. Can you see how cool this looks? This is awesome. This paint is the perfect colour. Where is it? Desert sand. Is the perfect colour for craft. Okay. Even though she's got a bit of a furphy going on here, it's worked really well. And I'm really happy with it. There we go. So I hope you've all had an enjoyable afternoon. I hope you've had an enjoyable four days. Um, jump online to nataliemay.com.au and place your order today. Uh, you do know that we are a wonderful small little family business. We are, um, we love what we do. I have worked now 12 days straight and see another five days coming up and I'm okay with that. Perfectly okay with that because I love what I do and I do it for you guys. Um, Sunday, this finishes tonight. 
we've got Dilutions, Paper Rose and Uniquely Creative. Papers, stamps, dyes, paints, all of those things are 20% off in those brands. So please take a moment to have a look, as well as the Natalie May Scrapbooking products. And if you are not part of the Facebook community, please join up today. I'm going to upload this video onto YouTube so that you can watch it again. And hopefully tonight when I sit down with a glass of wine, I will pop some stuff up on Instagram. So thanks, guys. I look forward to chatting with you soon. Thank you so very much for joining with us and, um, and joining, your, like, joining in over the last four days. We will be posting orders Monday and Tuesday if you selected pick up. Your order will not be ready to collect until Wednesday. Um, your, it just We're not going to have time to do that before then. But I look forward to um, chatting with you all again really, really soon. Thank you.